Okay, thank you everybody for coming on to this webinar. Again, if you can see me and hear me, please drop me a 777 in the chat box and we'll make a start. The time is now five past six and again, welcome everybody to this presentation. It's good to see you. And just to remind you, this, this meeting, this presentation is all about you. It's not about us and the presenters. This is about you. This is going to be a Q&A session, a question and answer session session where we, we will invite you to ask us any questions that you like related around this business and we're here to help now today i am i'm actually in the uk and again like last week it's a beautiful day it's actually 23 24 degrees outside and i am loving it so if you're running this business you'll know what i'm talking about you can actually go out during the day and sit in the garden and run your business from the garden or from the beach if you want to and that is what is so amazing about this business again welcome to this presentation and what i want to do is just give you the format of today and then i'll tell you a little story like i li like to do and then i'll continue and while i'm doing that i'll just turn my phone off so i'm not disturbed so so basically the format today is i'll speak for a few minutes i'll get mandeep on the call as well uh, for a few minutes and we'll turn it into a Q&A session. We also have our special guest uh, from London who we'll have on this call as well um, in about 15 or so minutes. And the reason we're doing this is because this guy is very, very successful. He's very, very young. And I want to give him this, well, we want to give him the opportunity to answer your questions as well. So firstly, I want to start off with, the, with one of my favorite stories. And um, this is the story of the butterfly and the cocoon. And Many of you may have heard of this, but going back a few years now, a man was watching a butterfly as it tried to emerge from its cocoon. So he was watching this butterfly for several hours, hoping for it to emerge from the cocoon so it could watch it spread its wings and fly into the sunset. However, the butterfly was obviously taking a very, very long time, and that is the way nature intended. But this guy wanted to help the butterfly out, so... He was watching the, the small hole get bigger and bigger, but it was taking forever. So he got out a pair of scissors and cut the, the end of the cocoon off. The hole became much larger and the butterfly was able to exit from the cocoon. However, because the butterfly had to go through pain to achieve freedom, once it emerged from the cocoon, it was not able to fly. Its body was large and its wings were shriveled. Now what happens is when a butterfly emerges from a cocoon from a very, very tight spot, the, the fluid needs to come out of its wings to enable it to fly. But because the man cut off the end of the cocoon, the butterfly was not able to experience that and so it was not able to fly and it spent the rest of its very, very few days crawling around when it should have been flying and its death was what well, occurred much, much quicker. Now, the, the, the reason I'm telling you this story is because success is not free. You need to go through some pain to achieve success. And that is what is happening in this business, in any business, in fact. Now, I've been running businesses for over two decades. This is my third decade in business. And every single business that I've ran in the past successfully had to go through its fair share of pain. So in many businesses that I've run in the past, <coughs> excuse me, I've had months, if not years of pain before the amazing success has occurred. And it's the same in any business. It's the same with life. You need to go through pain. You need to go through hardship to achieve the amazing success. Success is not free and you need to go through this to achieve success. So whenever I hear people saying, you know, it's not working for me, Trading's difficult. I'm not able to build my business for whatever reason. And um, sometimes it makes me laugh because I know what you have to go through to achieve success. And if only you knew that you had to go through some hardship to obtain amazing success, you would do it. Now, the if you know some of our the, the leaders in this business, you, you you know people that are earning or that have achieved financial freedom. And financial freedom can be it can be a thousand pounds a month to some people. It can be two thousand pounds a month. It can be ten thousand pounds a month. But whatever that number is, it's different for every single person. And what you need to understand is that, write this down: that you must not quit. It's the five percent that go through the initial hurdle, in fact hurdles, and that make it through the other side that achieve financial freedom, and achieve success as they see in their own eyes. Now, at the moment, in, in this business, 
you may have noticed, but many, many ranks are popping. Just, uh, was it last, no, this week, <laughs> we had a Chairman 50 in our own organization, and a Chairman 50 is basically $50,000 every single month in passive income, whether you work or not. So you can stay in bed for the whole month and still make £50,000, sorry, $50,000. I don't know many jobs out there that pay you $50,000. And even if there was a job out there that paid you $50,000 a month, you would have to work from it. Obviously, blue chip executives get paid very, very well. But believe me, they have to work very, very hard as well and be well responsible for whatever they're doing on a daily basis. They're responsible to their stakeholders and other people within that business and to achieve that kind of income in a blue chip is very very difficult and i'd say probably 0.1 percent achieve it but in this business many many ranks are popping you've got people earning fifty thousand dollars a month ten thousand dollars a month within our own organization and even very soon twenty five thousand dollars a month so it's achievable and we have a, a system that's duplicatable so all you need to do is, is copy what we tell you and teach you on a daily basis and all you have to be is teachable so all you have to do is take on board what we tell you to do because we're telling you to do these things for a reason and that reason is that these things work now <laughs> at the moment it's, it's the first of june today and again this month is going to be a month of absolute abundance and we will achieve amazing things both on the trading side and also in the case of building the business where you're building a team and achieving a passive income i can see every single person on this call at the moment and just going through the names here i can see people that are going to absolutely smash the ranks this month and many of you on this call will be taking your first or second well you've taken the first step already we'll be taking um a step closer to financial freedom and all you have to do is follow the system that we talk about on a daily basis now today the economic landscape is very very different to what it was three months ago six months ago in fact nine months ago a year ago What's happening, not just in the UK, but all over the world, is, is actually economic crisis. So a lot of companies, a lot of brand names are going to go bust before your very eyes this year. I'm going to talk just over some brand names now, so you can actually understand what I'm talking about. Aldo, if you know it, Aldo is a, is a footwear company. It went bust this year. Monsoon is another company. Um, it's, it's, it's a retail outlet primarily for women. It's, it's gone bust. Clarks is losing or has lost 900 jobs this year. <coughs> Excuse me. So Clarks is obviously the retail footwear brand. Antler, the luggage brand, famous luggage brand, has gone bust. Virgin Atlantic, the airline um, headed by Richard Branson, is talking about insolvency. So again, you know, well-known brands are either talking about insolvency or, or going to go bust very, very soon. Laura Ashley, that's gone bust. Debenhams, we all know and love Debenhams, that's gone bust as well. The book people went into administration last year. I use them quite a lot to buy books um, via online means. Um, Jessup's, the, the camera people um, had problems last year. Um, who was it? The Clintons, the card the card business, uh, again, uh, um, administration talks, mother care, Toys R Us, I can go on and on. So you can't come to me and say, because I work for a very, very big company, that company is unlikely to go bust. Write this down. Things are going to change in the next three months, six months. You will see many, many more brand names go bust. Unfortunately, banks, you know, your, your, your bricks and mortar businesses, banks will also go bust. Um, obviously, we had RBS a few years back and that had problems. Again, you're going to see this over and over again. And what I'm saying to every single person on this course, on, on this call is do not rely on an income from your employer because things can change and they can change very, very quickly. No one knew or that this pandemic would occur and what would happen to the economy, but it's happening before our very eyes. So what I'm saying to you is take on board what we're teaching you embrace this business and work at it work at it like you've never worked before for a few months and it can set you up for the rest of your life that's what i'm saying to you learn how to trade and learn to build the business as well bring in people into your business build a team and help other people become financially free because the more people you help the more help you will get in return because that is the way god and the universe works the more people you have, the more you give away, the more you give to charity. In fact, every single time I've given to charity, 
I've got back in abundance. Every single time I've helped other people in this business, I've got back in abundance. There are people out there that need this kind of opportunity, and this opportunity is one of the best that I've ever seen. Now, that is all I wanted to say as an introduction. Um, I'm hoping Mandeep is on the call. I want to sort of get Mandeep to say a few words as well, and then we'll allow you, every single person on this call, to ask your questions, and we're here to help you, and then we'll get our special guest on as well. Mandeep, are you alive and kicking? Yes, Dr. Jav, how's it going? How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Mandeep? Yes, all good, all good. What a beautiful day today. Have you, have you been out? Have you been out sort of enjoying the sun at all? I've been out all day today, Mandeep, as you can see from the suntan. And I see you've got a nice mint tea there, no doubt. <laughs> yes, oh, absolutely. It's mint tea. It's really, really good, actually. Very, very nice. Um, so enjoying, enjoying for sure. <laughs> so Mandy, but uh, that, yeah. that was a great... Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Jav, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're all over each other today. Uh, Mandy, say a few words and let people know, you know what's happening, what they should be doing, yeah. and then we'll turn over you know, into the Q&A session and also get our special guest on board as well. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So thank you very much for that, Dr. Jab. Um, can we give it back to him? Fire emojis and triple ones. Don't we just all love him? You know, he is someone that is really leading from the front, always inspiring, always motivated. And, and I remember when I, when I met Jav, um, Dr. Jab through this business, and the first thing I thought was, you know what, he just gets on with it. That's it. Just nothing phases him. And uh, it's probably to do with, you know, his years of experience in, in, in his businesses as well. And I've certainly learned a lot from, from him as well. Uh, he, he's such an amazing individual. So Dr. Jav, really, really salute you. Thank you for everything that you're doing, supporting the team, uh, putting these calls together. I think, it's, I think it really, really is something. Um, so I can see, I'm just having a look at the list of names. Most people's names I recognize on here. Um, for anyone new, warm, warm welcome to you if you've joined in the last seven days, uh, you know, in our team. We do these calls once a week on a Monday where, you know, either it'll be on mindset or it'll be an open Q&A where we get people to put on their videos, which is going to be today, actually. You don't have to put on your video, but, you know, it just kind of helps to, for you to get to see the team, to get to know the team. Um, but for those of you that don't know me, my name is Mandeep. I come from, you know, sort of corporate background. And I decided, you know, I want something different with my life I want to be able to travel when I want I want to be able to do things when I want and today in fact this last few months is a prime example a lot of people have been going out there enjoying the sun we've had a couple of bad days for those of us in the UK but you know what it made me realize in this business if you are earning residual income and or you're earning good money from forex you don't have to wait for a bank holiday to enjoy your life because that is what 95% of the people do. You know, they, they wait till, oh, you know, it's Friday, it's bank holiday weekend. And I used to be that same person thinking, I can't wait until Friday, 4.30 or 5 o'clock, because that's when I'm going to be able to leave work for the week and not think about anything else. So this is how most people live their lives. But for those of us in this business, for those of us that make a commitment to earning, you know, a, a residual income or making and really learning Forex properly, you can live every day like a Sunday and every day like a bank holiday. And now has never been a better time. I mean, Mr. Abdullah Sandu's promotion to Chairman 50, that was a real shocker. It was just crazy. You know, the fact that this individual, I remember Mr. Abdullah Sandu, I remember, you know, when I first met him, we met in Leicester, he came to see me, my brother, um, and, and, and our special guest also came, he's gonna be on the, on the call in just a second. Um, but basically, when I met Mr. Abdullah Sandu, he was a Chairman 10. He was a chairman 10 at the time and I'd never actually met anyone who was earning you know ten thousand dollars a month who had had given me who was giving us their valuable time I thought wow this person's traveled all the way from London to meet us um, to make a special effort and and you know he's 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 here and he's he's is he there in person um, but I think he was meeting quite a few team members in Leicester that day so he's making his rounds he met with us for a coffee and I felt so I remember feeling really nervous and thinking oh my god like this person he's earning you know this much money a month and I feel so excited and things are happening and it, and it really really was something um and it's so great to see the progression through the ranks he's gone from 10,000 a month to 25,000 a month and now 50,000 a month so for me and for a lot of us out there it's building that belief that yes it can and of course don't forget I'm not I'm not going to forget the trading here if you actually if you if you learned or knew what Mr. Abdullah Sandu earns through Forex, you're probably not going to believe it anyway, because he's a very, very prolific trader. 
Um, he does both the harmonic scanner and the vibrato tool. So those are his, his favorite trading strategies. Um, but honestly, he, he is just someone that's really inspiring and impacting. And he's always said to Dr. Jav and myself and many others, you know what, keep going, keep going. Because there are going to be many people, unfortunately, who come in this journey and say, do you know what, it's been six months. Do you know what, it's been a year. I think I've had enough. I'm, I'm ready to quit. I'm ready to go a different way. But look at it this way. What, how you do one thing is how you do everything, right? How you do one thing is how you do everything. So the way we prospect, the way we promote events, the way we do presentations, the way we are in terms of our mindset. What I always say is that if we can't fix our mindset here, it's going to be hard to make another business successful because the mindset needs to change. The mindset needs to change. And, you know, what, one of my favorite things certainly about this business is the amount of personal growth that this business gives you. I was talking to someone earlier. I think she's on the call. Yep, she is. I'm not going to mention her name, but we were having a bit of a, a catch up later uh, earlier today. And we were just talking about how much this company invests in its members towards personal growth and development. We have Bob Proctor partnered up with us. You know, Bob Proctor is a multimillionaire, American motivational speaker and author. And he, you know, he was actually in the secret Many of you, I know you've been texting me this week saying, oh, you know, I've been watching The Secret this week and reading the book. So keep doing that. It's not just reading it once, though. It's reading it again and again and again, because remember, like attracts like. We've been through this many, many times on the, on, on the calls that whatever you think about comes about. And I can guarantee you the moment you felt frustration, whether it's in your trading or in your business, everything else started going the negative way. It's a bit like a whirlpool. You start thinking one negative thought and it just, it kind of snowballs, but let's reverse the process. Let's look at another sort of side of how to, um, you know, how to, how to amend that. Say if some, you know, you, you weren't necessarily having a good day or, or something crazy was happening. The way we can kind of start changing it is by habit and being consciously aware that, okay, I've just spent the last half an hour just trawling through Facebook. It's not being productive. I've just been thinking negative. It's about being aware. It's about being conscious of that thought. If you were to give a percentage right now, and obviously I'm not going to ask you to say, I'm not going to ask you to say in the chat group, but if you were to put a percentage on how positive you were last week, could you do that? Would it be a hundred percent? Yes, I was very, very positive. Would it be 50%? Would it be 20%? Would it be 10%? And then have a look at the whole month of May. For the whole month of May, what were your positivity levels? Were they, you know, a hundred percent? Were they eighty percent? Were you really uh, going for it? And what you'll kind of find is a bit of a trend. Whatever your energy is, that will show in your results. Does that make sense? Whatever your energy was for the month of May, that will show in your results. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm doing the right things, things are going, things are happening but your feeling, your gut feeling is low and your gut feeling is saying, mm, I, I, I think I believe it and I think I can get there, but you're still unsure. This again will show in your work. And this is not some voodoo stuff, by the way. This is something again that David Minite talks a lot about. Um, and David Minite is our chairman of 500. He always pays attention to the feeling in the organization, which is so, so important. So top tip from me, I'm gonna leave it there. Top tip is, Pay attention to your feeling every day because your feeling will change from time to time, hour to hour, day to day, week to week. So really, really pay attention this month. And what you want to be consciously aware of is feeling good and positive and um, embodying those feelings all the time because that will reflect in your businesses. So enough from me. I'm going to hand it back to Dr. Jav, who is going to bring on our special guest. Dr. Jav, back over to you. Thank you, Mandeep. As always, um, absolutely amazing. And yeah, every day is a bank holiday. Write this down. And uh, we want every day to be a bank holiday for every single person um, on this presentation. And that is how I live my life, Mandy lives her life, and also our special guest who will be on is also leading his life. So write that down. Every day is a bank holiday. And let's do that for all of you. Now, I want to now introduce our special guest and ask him to maybe speak for a few minutes. Now this guy I met probably about when I joined about a year or so ago and he's very young. I think he's 19 and please, if I'm wrong on, on your age, please do correct me. This guy's 19-ish. He's a teenager and he's financially free and has been financially free probably 
for at least, uh, I'd guess, probably one to two years um, within this business. So um, financial freedom is absolutely amazing. And for, for this guy, obviously, every day is a bank holiday. Every day for this guy is, is Christmas Day, Diwali, Eid, whatever you celebrate. And uh, this guy never sleeps. Um, just bear that in mind. So he works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And he, he's been working like that since I've known him. And that's why he's so successful. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy is, is very inspirational. I'm going to make him, I think I've made him a co-host. So, Jay, are you on the call? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, can we see you as well? Or Yeah, I'm here. My video's on. Oh, good man. So, yeah, Jay, take it away. Um, it's good to have you on the call. Um, I can see you're in your loft conversion in, in London. Yes. So, please, um, we've got 20 people on, on the call. Please inspire okay. them, let them know your story because a lot of them may not have met you before but please go sure. ahead this is jay palmer everybody well thank you very much thank you um yeah let's just go back to you know jav let's put a one 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 in the chat box for jav for hosting this call mandy all of our great leaders here um but yes my name is jay and you know a lot of you i can recognize some of you we've probably never spoken before um but you know just to introduce myself and my story i started this business back in 2017 so uh when i was 17 years old actually I remember October 28th, 2017, that's when I got started. And I was completely brand new to this. Imagine at that time, I was studying uh, engineering in, in college. And you know, my background prior to that, I, I got good grades. I went to grammar school, went to a private school. I had all the education I really needed in life. My parents gave me all of that, which I'm grateful for. Um, but one thing that I realized was by searching online, by going through YouTube, by going through you know, social media, I started to see people with different lifestyles. So sort of the sort of lifestyles that oftentimes a job alone can't really buy. And that's when I started to get into the online world where I started to type in online, you know, how can I make money through my laptop? How can I make money through my phone? And I saw so many different ways. And the one that caught my eye was trading. And I got started with it. And, you know, like a lot of you guys, I was just doing it for... Uh, a few weeks, a few months. And um, I remember the first profit I made in trading. Bear in mind, being 17 in London, the most you're going to get for a job is £5 an hour cash in hand. Right? That's all you're going to get. Nothing more. Um, maybe you might get paid a bit less for that. But um, I made about, I remember I started my first trading account, deposited about 100, 200. I remember making my first £20 in two hours. Now, bear in mind, I didn't leave my house. I didn't even leave my bed. I did this all from home. When I made that first £20, that gave me the belief level that I can make this work. So a lot of us on this call right now, whether you want to just do the trading or whether you just want to build a business, you just want to understand that this is working. Look at, look at the success that Jav is having. Mohammed on the call, uh, our Platinum 1000. Mandy, look at her, very close to Platinum 5000. A lot of these people, they're not just having success in building a business. But trust me, if you look at trading side, they're absolutely smashing it. Okay, ECC 11, look at the system we have today. Um, you know, when I first started, we never had this. And mainly for someone who was with me um, early on in my journey, where, you know, we didn't really have a system. We were just you know, trying things out. We made a system, we built a new one. Uh, but now today what we have is completely different to what we had before. Imagine the academy that you guys have today each video before was like 20, 30 minutes long. It was so long. Imagine the TV. It was, it was like, you know, going back to the 1900s and looking at a laptop. That's how bad it was. But today, like I said, they're constantly developing and, and bringing things forward. So, you know, my main tip would be, uh, you know, carrying on with Mandeep's point, talking about mindset. That is the most important thing. And I know you guys hear it over and over and over and over again, belief and uh, you know, how you feel and, you know, vision and board, vision board, vision environment, all of this. Trust me, guys, this is, this is a thing a lot of you guys are missing. And if you're thinking on the how, that means you're not believing. And it took me some time to realize, like, don't get me wrong, you can get to Platinum 1000, maybe Platinum 2000, um, just by working. But I really believe after that, you've, there's a certain level of, of um, belief of personal development you've got to go through to get there. And one thing I've always done from day one is remain teachable and coachable. And I think it's important whenever you come to calls like this, whenever you hear Jav or Mandeep or 
or let's say Muhammad speak or any of our other phenomenal leaders speak. I think it's important to pretty much empty your cup, pretend you don't know anything. And that's all I did. Whenever Abdullah told me to do something, I would do it. And there was times where I felt uncomfortable. And I always give an example of uh, my first international convention. My first international convention, imagine, I had never been abroad alone by myself, apart from, you know, it was camping trips you get in high school. Um, and I went to USA, Miami. This was about two years ago. My first international convention. And I, I, I didn't really want to go because none of my team were going. And Abdullah literally said, give me your card. We're going to book your flight. He took my card with my money inside <laughs> and he book, booked it away. But that made me realize coming out of it, you know, you know when, when, I, when I was actually going to the event, when I was paying for everything, I was stressing out a bit. I was like, is this really worth it? Is he trying to you know, mug me off or something? But then I understood after that our mentors have our best intention. So for example, if Jav tells you something, it's not because you know, he's a boss or he's, he's a Platinum 1000, 2000 leader. It's not because of that. It's because he has a results a lot of you guys have, which means you've just got to follow them, whether you like it or not. You know, these people have the success stories that you want. So always remain teachable and coachable and touching into the mindset part. You know, you've got to really develop yourself. Me before two and a half years ago, um, I was a completely different person. I could not speak in front of a webinar more than two people. Okay, I could not even present the business two and a half years ago. I was that guy in college that was very quiet, that had a few friends. You know, I wasn't really out there. I couldn't, pres I couldn't do much socially. But I was really introverted. I, I'm still introverted, but today I, I can do anything pretty much. I can present, I can talk, I can do, do all these things. But my point is that you've got to become a different person. For you to get to Platinum 600, 1000, don't get me wrong, it's not easy. If anyone says it's easy, they're lying. You know, we, we had to struggle to get there. It took me two months to get Platinum 150. Two months. A lot of you have been in maybe one week, two weeks, and maybe you're, you know, you're a bit stressed out, worried about your monthly fee. It took me two months. Now, two and a half years later, I'm um, Platinum 5000. So don't think short term. Think where you're going to be in the next two years, five years. Because there's one phrase that has kept me here till today, and I'll share that with you guys. It's where Alex Morton, the first event I ever went to, he said on a stage, if you spend two to five years within this industry of Forex and network marketing, six to seven figures will be done. If you really work hard and you really commit, even if you're doing this part time, you can, you can still commit. And, you know, three years in, we're, we're very close to touching six figures. Okay, I don't, I don't say that to impress you guys. I say to impress upon you that it is actually true. It can happen. If it can happen for me, who's someone who's 17, 18, I'm 19, by the way, right now. But if someone who's 19 can do it, where oftentimes when I first started, I thought, you know, I'm too young for this. I'm too young for business. People won't listen to me, right? How you see yourself is how other people are going to see you. So in summary, I'm going to pass it before I pass it back to Jav. Remain teachable and coachable really understand and focus on your on your growth don't focus on the income right now focus on growing yourself the income will come along as you go along and you know just stay consistent give this long term think six months one year two years if you're thinking oh if i don't if i can't pay my monthly fee i'm going to leave a business that's a wrong thinking that is a wrong thinking think long term okay so i'm gonna hand it back to jav and uh, he can finish up this call Thank you very much. Thank you for that, Jay. Um, absolutely amazing um, story. And still only 19 years old and financially free. So again, that's how we want everyone to be. I'm hoping Jay is going to be on for about 10 more minutes because what I want to do is um, pass the book back on to every single person on this call to ask any question. Mandeep is also a co-host, so Mandeep should be around somewhere. And I'm just sort of looking at the names. B, welcome to the call. Daniel, Alvin, another Alvin, Mohammed. Hello, Olha, Royale, Samson. I think that's Dash, probably, Davish, probably, Shyster. Welcome to the call, Shannon, Shiza, and Samir. So um, please, can you, if you have any questions, please ask us those questions in the chat box. And myself, Mandeep, and Jay will answer your questions. So, yeah, any questions, guys?
and also you, you can turn your videos on as well so um, we can see you obviously um, I want everybody to see everybody else so um, you can get to know each other Mandy hello I can see you Jay I can see you brilliant and anybody else on video Mohammed welcome how are you I like the haircut no I haven't had a haircut <laughs> well, you only cut it from one side <laughs> Uh, um, Maria, some kind of special coconut oil or something. Because <laughs> it's always a. <laughs> there's, there's, always nothing, there's, there's, always there's nothing. There's nothing. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. coconut oil is very good for you, by the way. Um, you, you can. No, honestly, you there's nothing in my head. as well. Um, RT, you can see your video as well. So yeah, uh, anyone else? Um, feel free to put your videos on and please ask us some questions. And I think, Jay, you, you can happily answer these questions because um, you're new to this call and I'm, I'm sure everybody wants to hear from you as well. So the first question that I'll ask you, um, Jay, is how do you create momentum in your groups and teams? How do you create momentum? It, it starts with you. So don't, don't really look at, you know, oftentimes people tend to put their success on other people thinking, oh, if this leader does this and that, then I'm going to get to this position. Of course, focus on your leaders. But one thing you can control is what you're doing. So imagine if you go crazy by putting your activity, putting this Zoom, that Zoom, that Zoom, your leaders are going to, the ones that are serious, they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, you know what, I need to start working. That's, that's how, firstly, I believe you create momentum with your own activity. So, yeah, um, very good question. Very good answer. Mandeep, do you want to ask Jay the next, next question? I think Jay's doing what we're answering today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he's our special guest. So, you know, it's uh, really great to have him here. You know, $5,000 at the age of 19, guys. That is, that is super phenomenal. It really, really is. So let's ask the, uh, the next question from Shannon. Did you decide to build and trade at the same time? If so, how many hours did you put aside for both? And that's from our amazing Miss Shannon. So uh, it's just in the chat box. So did you decide to build and trade at the same time? And if so, how many hours for both? I'll, I'll be honest, my first few weeks, I just decided to trade. Um, but after that, I really pushed myself after about two, three weeks. Uh, that's when I started to get into building. So with trading, trading is, is actually very simple. You don't need to spend hours and hours a day. It's not a job. It's not a nine to five. Uh, you can literally spend one hour a day and make your money for a day. That, that's what we're doing right now. So you don't need to trade for hours. Now with building, you may need to put a bit more time. And if you look at it, if you work from nine to five, from after five o'clock, what are you doing? Maybe you've got family commitments, but you know, if you're really serious about building a business, I would say minimum about three, to three hours a day after work. A lot of us have time for that. So you can still balance both of them. Um, okay, thank you for that, Jane. Um, amazing um, response there. Next question is, how do you develop your new team members' mindset? Um, Without slapping them. Okay. How do you develop your new team members' mindset? Uh, your job isn't really to change people. It's to plug them into environments where they can grow. And it's, it's their choice whether they take it up or not. So, um, you know, people can be willing to listen, but not a lot of people are willing to change. So all you can do, you can, for example, send them a book. Tell them, okay, listen to this audio. Come to this event encourage them to come to these different things put them in environments and give them resources where they can grow so that's how you develop team members mindsets um what, yeah, what's the next question carry on jay um the ball's in your course yeah no i'm just reading a chat box of all these questions um what did you do different from p1k i think there should be two p2k rather than top okay yeah, so every, every rank, you're, you're going to have to up your level of activity and leadership. Because the leadership is something I'm still learning till today. I'm not an expert. It's something that's going to take some time to learn. Um, but from each stage, I think the, the difference was actually my belief level. Because the thing is, maybe as a Platinum 150, I can definitely say I didn't believe in chairman. Even as a Platinum 2000, I'll be honest, I, I, I knew chairman would happen, but I didn't really feel it, if you get what I mean. Until P5, like right now, I can feel chairman around the corner. So the difference was pretty much the belief level because I can see I'm getting closer and closer to the next level. And how do you find new people? 
my way of finding new people, which 99% of my business is from Instagram. That, that's my way to go. And if you look at how Mandeep came, right, I'll give an example of Rajan. If you don't know Rajan, Platinum 2000, he was my first direct customer through Instagram. Okay, my whole business, 95% of my business has probably been through Instagram, just by reaching out to people, messaging people, but you've got to build your, your personal brand for that. Okay, Ola mentioned, is it correct to start my business at the beginning? Okay, a lot of people, yeah, good, good question. A lot of people ask me, I, I need results to, to start to build a business. But what tends to happen, especially with people close to you, now imagine I have results, right? People can see I'm doing well, but a lot of my friends still haven't joined me. I only have about three people that I knew prior to his business in my business. So it's not going to really change. Imagine if you start earning five, 10 grand a month, I guarantee you, your, your friends won't really change much. What you've got to do, you've got to understand trading works. If you plug into Mandeep sessions, which we all love, pretty much every trade is, is hitting TP. How can you not have a belief to go out and share this business? So straight away, if you're, if you're worried, if you want results, plug into Mandeep sessions, plug into Raja's sessions, whoever's doing ECC 11, you can get live results straight away. That's, that's your belief check. Um, what can people do on a daily basis towards activity? So daily activity, I, I make a mission to, to message 20 to 30 people every day. Whether, whatever platform you guys like, whether it's through Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, or whatever you like, 30 people a day, um, call your existing team members daily, and um, aim for, if you're really serious, at least uh, about two, two to three presentations, two to three exposures a day if you're doing this full time. If part time, if you're really busy, at least minimum one, one presentation a day. Um, how do you grow your Instagram? The way I've grown my Instagram to about 8,000 followers, I did not buy a single one, by the way. It, it was through, um, imagine, this is my page. I'm gonna go to my Instagram and I'm gonna find someone who, who posted recently. Right, anyone that posted, look, this guy here, I'm gonna go to the likes and I'm just gonna like all these, these, these people. Sorry, I'm gonna follow all of them. That's all I'm doing, I'm just following people, following people. Why? Because the more people that see my page, the more business I'm gonna get. So number one, follow people, build your following, but post high quality content. People wanna see you. Believe it or not, people don't really wanna see charts. They get scared of it. I post it every now and then, but people want to see you, you talking, your lifestyle, pictures of you. You know, that, that's what, that's how people join you. People join you because of trust on social media. Um, if you texted, okay, how do you get through the lows in your business? Um, how, okay. Recently, the way I've been doing it is, is just taking, sometimes taking a step back. Because the thing is, if you keep working, if you're in a negative frame of mind, What's going to happen? You're going to carry on getting negative results. Things will start to get worse. Just take a step away, go for a walk, go do something you enjoy for a bit, and then come back and, you know, work for business. I'll take one more question. If you texted a prospect and they've seen your message but not replied, what would you do with them? Okay, so if you texted a prospect and they've seen your message but they haven't replied, what you're going to do, you're going to follow up with them in maybe a few days or weeks time. So let's say if I presented you today, of course, I'm going to follow up tomorrow. If you don't reply, okay, probably next few days, next few weeks, just, just keep, you know, doubling your follow up. Don't, don't be annoying towards them. Um, but any last question before any last questions? I think we're, we're done there, Jay. Um, okay, great. so again, um, can you have some fire emojis for Jay and Mandeep and myself <laughs> um, for running this presentation? Again, um, it's been good to see everybody. Um, I can recognize most faces here. You've got some new people as well. And let's keep this up because um, every single one of you is going to rank up in the next few days. And I can guarantee you all you have to do is be teachable, 
and take on board the learning that we present to you. And the system that we have is, like I said earlier, it's duplicatable. Just copy us, plagiarize. When you were at school, your teacher said to you, do not copy the person you're sitting next to you. What I'm saying to you is copy Mandy, copy what Jay is doing, copy what we're telling you to do. We don't care about plagiarism. Plagiarism will make you millions in this business. And that's what we're telling you to do. And again, what I want to say is, if it's not this business, then what business should you be doing? This business opportunity is absolutely amazing. I know Mandy's done some, a lot of things before she joined this business as well. And the success she has achieved in this business has been, I think, was it moment? <laughs> What's the big word? <laughs> Huge compared to what she had achieved in other businesses, absolutely massive. And she can tell you that herself. Again, in my case, I've run many, many businesses in over 20 years. And the successes we're getting in this business is absolutely amazing, not just from trading, but also from building. I want every single person on this call to have a bank holiday every single day. Um, this call has been going on for about 40, 45 minutes now. I want to call it a day. Mandy, do you want to have a, any, any last words to say? Any words of wisdom? From well, that, that was it. It was, it was it's just to say that, you know what, today's the 1st of June. So for anybody that hasn't done so already, I would strongly, strongly recommend get your pad, your notepad and, 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 and a pen and literally write down your one chief aim for this month. So this month for the month of June, the, the month of June is the month of overflow, abundance. Um, and, and so so write down I, your name. So I, Bianca Murdoch, I, Mohammed Chohan, I'm so happy and grateful now that and fill in the blank because that is so crucial that is if, if we have a chief aim and we're working towards it it's going to help us to navigate where we need to be you might not even want to build and if that's the case and you just want to get your two and three people or you just want to trade focus on okay i'm so happy and grateful now that i've grown my account by three percent this month or ten percent of this month whatever your goal is write down that chief aim and keep saying it and and feeling it you know keep feeling how you'd feel if you had already ch achieved that goal it's all about it's all to do with emotion so that's all i'm going to say literally just please please make sure that every single one of us we have our chief aim for the month of june thank you mandy um again thank you jay thank you everybody please can we have some fire emojis for everyone who presented on this presentation also for you guys for turning up um, this month is a month of abundance. Do not forget that. Let's make every single day a bank holiday. On, on that note, again, thank you everyone for being on this call and we'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you.